more than halfway through season three. It's crazy how fast it's gone, right? I honestly consider this season one of the best ones in Fortnite history. Let me explain why, though. Let's see what kind of smoke this guy wants, bro. Oh, he ran away. He's scared. Let's get him. Show him the power of the medley skin. There you go, man. I knew you were there. That's the power of the medley skin that you guys see me rocking right now. If you want to cop it, man, or any other skin in the item shop right now, and you want to support me, make sure you use code Kawande in the item shop. I'd really appreciate it. Throughout this entire Fortnite season, it has given me, like, OG Fortnite vibes. Some of you guys know that I started playing Fortnite back in Chapter 1 season four back then it was still pretty new no one really built or anything it was more focused on having fun and i feel like this is kind of going back to that the boogie bombs are back uh we have shock waves flare guns are back so you can either look for people or you can roast them there's bounce pads in the water at the beach now over by sanctuary it's like a crazy party over there as far as the weapons go i know people miss pumps and scars and it's kind of disheartening that some people's favorite weapons aren't in the game right now i really wish charged shotguns were back i miss those for sure but let's be honest for a second let's be real if we had the same weapons that we've always had this game wouldn't be nearly as fun as it is today the fact that you have to constantly adapt to the meta and learn new items how to use weapons appropriately in this game more effectively makes it that much more fun and challenging i've said this before but challenge always presents an opportunity for growth and makes it so it's that much more rewarding when you are successful learning new weapons and how they work is exciting and fresh so yeah we all miss the pumps we all miss the scars but in the end the weapons don't make the game the experience make the game right the things that make the game memorable are what make the game great and right now one of those weapons for me is the dmr which i have there you go memorable shots nope oh nice i had him had him right there. What? There we go. Give me that hammer, bro. Oh, he had a crown too. Let's go. And let's not discount the POIs. I mean, even at Camp Kodo right now, there's a roller coaster in Fortnite. Blows my mind the type of collaborations they have too. Like this season, we have Darth Vader. We got characters from the marvel comics we'll talk more about that in a second there's so many different places that you can explore and it keeps the map fresh and entertaining i don't feel like this game's in a stale state with this season partly because of the pois that we have which is extremely nice i think this guy's a sweat no bro he's not Dang, bro. There we go. With the POIs, the weapons, the items in the game right now, Ouch. it's just felt like an entire vibe, which is so much more fun than it's been in the past for me personally. With a game like this and how much change there's always happening, you never really know what to expect. And this season has kind of surpassed whatever expectations I've had. Nope. Miss Cone. Oh, he doesn't know where I am. I just chop him out? I think I'm gonna chop him out. I see you. Back to the collabs though. With the Fortnite characters in the game right now. Oh, what? 253s? There's no way. Oh, I still got him? Wow. Back to the collabs in this game, though, before we were rudely interrupted. We actually have more of the Marvel skins coming out. So with the with the release of the comics, since we've had two issues since me recording this video, and pretty soon we get the new crew pack skin, which is Wolverine. But we've had more Marvel collabs, and it's really cool to see because a lot of people love Marvel and the Marvel movies. And the fact that you have Marvel, DC characters, John Cena terminator from last season like there's all these different types of collabs i don't feel like any other game or company like epic for that matter has ever had the audacity or the courage or the wherewithal to try and make collaborations like that a possibility freeze we can 
good feeling good i also feel like the storyline has advanced so far too especially with the comic book series it's kind of left it open to where i'm not sure what to expect they're setting up a bunch of plot lines which is nice and exciting but at the same time i feel like i should be expecting the worst you know the whole vibe of this season is dope and it feels like og fortnite again but that also kind of worries me within the storyline because it could be something potentially building up to this dramatic plot point Let's go. Not bad, not bad. As I was saying before that last win, the comics have made it seem like they're laying the groundwork for something huge. By that I mean, we still don't know who Geno is, but Geno is now Dr. Doom's employer. We've got a missing zero point fragment that everybody's trying to get their hands on. I just feel like there's so much about the season to where the whole vibing thing is like a distraction. This is the calm before the storm. There's gotta be something big coming and I don't think anybody's ready for it. That's also another really cool thing about Fortnite is you never truly know what to expect. You get a DMR asking you shall receive. There we go. GG to you, man. All in all, man, I know we've had our growing pains in the past with seasons of Fortnite, but I have like almost no complaints about this season other than I probably need to learn how to get more wins. And I haven't played Arena at all this season. I'm excited to see how it wraps up. The season ends on September 17th. It's going to be exciting. The events leading up to that, the comic books coming out, how the, how the storyline progresses, more collaborations. It's just cool to see, man. And I'm glad to be a part of it. Thank you guys for showing a shared interest in my interest with this game. It means a lot to me, man. Did I just see a person? I can't see him actually. It's just an invisible floating gun. A floating gun thrown up builds? What what is this? Watch out, watch out, watch out. Yoink. Oh my god. Dude, did I just I just shot nothing. I shot absolute nothing and I got a kill for it? That's insane. I see you, bro. Ooh, guy has me. He owns. Oh my god. Good job. Let me know what you guys have enjoyed so far this season and what you're looking forward to before it all ends. Hopefully we have all our questions answered by then. I'll catch you in the next one.